Hello, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we will discuss troubleshooting the GI4000 Argon gas system and best practices to avoid potential issues when using the Argon method with the GI4000 ESU. When using the GI4000, it is important to know what actions to take when something unexpected happens during use. Let's introduce some of the situations you may encounter when using the GI4000 ESU integrated Argon system. Warning, check argon line. The check argon line warning can appear if the argon gas delivery line is occluded, pinched, or clogged. The GI4000 will sense pressure building in the argon tube set and trigger the warning when argon line pressure has exceeded the threshold set by the manufacturer. To troubleshoot this issue, check all the connections of the ArcConnect argon probe connector and argon coagulation probe. Visually verify that neither of the lines are pinched, occluded, or clogged. If either device has evidence of damage or blockage, replace the accessory. To verify the issue has been resolved, manually purge the argon gas line to ensure gas flows through the accessories properly. Warning: Check Argon Gas Bottle The check argon gas bottle warning can appear in the following cases. No argon bottle installed. To resolve this issue, install an argon gas bottle. Empty argon gas bottle installed. To resolve this issue, install a full argon gas bottle. The user vented the argon bottle and forgot to replace it. To resolve this issue, uninstall the vented empty argon gas bottle and install a new full argon gas bottle. Argon bottle is not fully tightened. To resolve this issue, continue turning the bottle clockwise until it is fully engaged. This can be a quarter to two full turns tighter, even after the green gas bottle icon appears on the screen. Argon gas bottle icon does not appear. Continue turning the bottle clockwise until it is fully engaged. If the green gas bottle icon does not appear, inspect the brass threads for damage. If the threads are undamaged, while using gloved hands, Pour a few drops of sterile water onto a clean, lint-free gauze and wipe around the brass threads, then reinstall the bottle. Rapidly Depleting Argon Gas Bottle If you observe that your argon gas bottle is rapidly depleting, verify that the GI4000 is turned off after each case where the argon method is used. If the GI4000 stays on after the argon method is used, the unit will continue to purge argon gas every 30 seconds until the system is powered off. Backflow into the Arc Connect receptacle. To prevent backflow into the GI4000, avoid disconnecting the Arc Connect argon probe connector or the argon coagulation probe from the GI4000 until the procedure is complete. The positive pressure system will constantly flow argon through the Arc Connect receptacle to the probe as long as they remain connected. If disconnected while the argon probe remains in the patient, back pressure will travel through the probe to the ArcConnect. In addition, avoid leaving the argon coagulation probe and ArcConnect connected to the ArcConnect receptacle when replacing an empty argon gas bottle. When the empty argon gas bottle is removed from the GI4000, the argon gas line pressure will release, causing back pressure from the argon probe to force backflow up through the ArcConnect and into the argon gas system. To prevent this from occurring, place the GI4000 in standby mode and remove the argon probe from the patient. Next, disconnect the ArcConnect argon probe connector from the ArcConnect receptacle. Once the new argon gas bottle has been installed, you may reconnect the ArcConnect to the receptacle and repressurize the argon gas line by purging. Weak or no argon beam. If you are experiencing a weak argon beam or no argon beam, confirm that the ArcConnect is fully connected to the GI4000. 
Visually inspect the arc connect for any functional abnormality like torn insulation, punctures, or damage. If any irregularities are noted, contact Steris customer service. For easier insertion of the arc connect into the GI4000, while using gloved hands, pour a few drops of sterile water onto clean, lint-free gauze and lightly wipe around the perimeter of the black o-ring. Insert the arc connect into the GI4000 by pushing in and lifting up until an audible click is heard. Increase power in increments of 2 watts until the desired arc is achieved. In addition to the situation shown in this video, the following fault messages can also appear when there is a technical failure within the GI4000 system. In the event one of these fault messages appear on the system display, power off the GI4000 for 30 seconds. Power on the GI4000. If the fault message does not appear, continue operation. If the fault message reappears, contact Steris Technical Support. At this point, the video has come to a conclusion. For full instructions on the use of the GI4000 ESU, please refer to the user and maintenance manual. For further details on all devices seen in this video, please visit www.docsterisk.com. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.